hey 7 up 7 here and uh, welcome to part 2 of my Guitar Hero 2 custom tutorial and in this you should have all of your songs uh, in the game already set up so what I'm gonna show you now is how to change the song names, band names, and like loading screens pretty much any text in the game uh... it's pretty cool so, uh, and it's not really that complicated. So, what you're gonna do, go to the link in the description, which is right here, and this is gonna go to uh, Guitar Hero DTB Editor. Download this, and I don't need to just click through this stuff. I just don't really need to do that because I already have it here. So, after you get that, then open up Guitar Hero Explorer. Any time now. Be good. Okay. Come on. Alright, so after you have this up, go to main config gen and go down here and find songs.dtb. Right click that, click extract. I'm going to extract that and just extract it into a folder on your desktop or somewhere. Just click save. It's extracted. Minimize Guitar Explorer and go and find this. Okay, so then open up that package of programs that you just downloaded. You have to have one more for this, of course. And then you see gh2ne.exe. Double click that and this comes up. What you're going to do with this is go to file, open file, and find that songs.dtb that you just got. Okay, now you see I already have um, all my songs renamed, but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway. All you do is you click one of the songs, you put them in uh, alphabetical or in-game order, Okay, so what you do is you just click that, and then you can change it. You know, I don't really need to change it, but you just type in the name of the song here, the artist there. Don't mess with any of this kind of stuff. If you know, like, where this is the, in the, when you scroll over it in the game menu, what part of the song it plays. You can change this to where it says as made famous by whatever or as performed by and then the singer, no singer, female, whatever, the band and when you're going into quick play you can make it to where it's not just like a random thing you can choose to set whatever. Okay. So do that with all of your songs and one thing you have to make just absolutely sure because I've screwed it up a thousand times is do not hit save until you're completely done with all of it. If you hit save before you're done, then you're going to have to take this and do this next part and then extract it back out again and then redo it all. Okay. So after you have edited all those, click exit and go back into Guitar Hero Explorer. Then you're going to go back into the same folder you were in. Right click this, click replace find the same folder, hit open, hit yes. Okay. So now all of your songs are in there. So then what you do is if you want to change the loading screens and stuff like that, then you go to the UI folder, Gen, and this has a lot of stuff in it. So what you do with all of that stuff, okay, so um, in the UI folder you go to ENG, Gen, and then locale.dp, do the same thing, extract that into whatever folder. And then go back and open up this WinRAR package again. But instead of going to GH2NE, go to GH2DTB Edit. Right click that. Or left, whatever. Double. Okay, and then this comes up. 
And then what you do with this, same thing, open file, locale.dtb this time. And this is going to bring up a whole big list of all of the text in the game. You can change just about anything with this. I mean, just to show you what it does is like this is the very beginning. Like uh, after the opening scene, it'll tell you press a button to continue or whatever. And so I just changed it like a little bit. You just go over here, enter the text you want, and then click insert. It's just so easy. Uh, I've changed a lot of stuff. I don't know what to. Let me see. It's hard to find things in here, that's for sure. Um, yeah, you can change, like, if you really want to deck it out, like, act like you bought the song or whatever, if you change, like, a bonus song, and you want to change it to the one that you changed it to, it, you know, you can even change that. I changed the name of some of the guitarists somewhere, you can do that change all the names of the song parts it's really easy. I'm looking for the loading screens, they're hard to find God, and change the descriptions just about anything really I mean I just like to, you can, you can just sit here and play around on this thing it doesn't really I mean it's not gonna hurt your game any, you can just mess around on it like change your difficulty oh, that's not where it is whatever that's somewhere too just you you can get really creative with this so yeah it's really easy okay but then after you have um put all of your stuff in there you're going to go to save and just save it then close it out and do the same thing open up guitar here explorer replace locale.dtb open yes and then this will come up that will only take a minute or two possibly so um that's about all you can do with that um it's just really it's really fun it's not something i can teach you everything it's something you can play around with you know so uh yeah have fun doing that and check out part three for how to actually burn the disc Thanks for watching.